recent movie news, we got a Warcraft movie trailer last week, and it was amazing. So this is the first trailer for the June 2016 release of Warcraft, the movie, based on the very popular video game series. Number one, the RTS of Warcraft, and then also lots of World of Warcraft, I'm sure, is going to be mixed into this mythos. So it's, yeah. it's amazing. And funny enough, when I actually went to watch this trailer for the first time, I, I clicked on the link. And I was like, oh, okay, here's the trailer. Started right up. No no ad or nothing. And then after it was done, it restarted. And I was like, what? what is that? So apparently they also show the ad, the trailer as a commercial for other YouTube videos. Just so happened the YouTube video I was watching was the trailer. And so I saw the trailer twice back to back because one was a commercial for the other. Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. Uh, new way of branding things. So <laughs> I was like, hey, you know what? That's cool. I wanted to see the trailer again anyway, so it just made it a little more convenient for me. So thank you, YouTube. Helping me out. Watch the trailer back to back. Yeah. Sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, just a couple reactions from it. Brendan, you saw the trailer, right? Yeah. Um, you know what? I was looking at it, and I was like, is this... Is this CGI or is this real? Yeah, uh, that's the one thing. One of the first things that really popped out at me was uh, the CGI is amazing. Not only for the orcs, but the griffins look great. All these towns that they've developed. I don't know if they made miniature models and then did, you know, the whole pan in camera view thing. But everything looks just spectacular. I mean, this this was like, okay, we're back in Lord of the Rings almost. You know, the, every, it, even better than Lord of the Rings. I take it back. Those orcs looked so good i mean there was one part where you're you're looking at one of the main orcs they, they're they showing like a close-up of his face and you can tell he's he's got some emotions going on in his brain and just the way the eyes look so real and the facial expression if there were a such thing as an orc i imagine that's exactly how it would look like so mm. uh, that was spectacular number one but so this movie stars a couple people travis fimmel um you might know him as ragnar lothbrook from the vikings tv show I'm interested to see how he'll play this character because he plays Ragnar Lothbrok very well. I think part of the reason he plays Ragnar Lothbrok very well is because he kind of has these like crazy like stares, like like you, you don't quite know what's happening behind his brain, behind uh, behind those eyes of his. And it, it probably will translate pretty darn well over to this movie, and it's just right there. Uh, then you have Dominic Cooper; he's going to play the king of one of the Alliance realms. Um, you have Paula Patton plays some sort of orc human hybrid and ben foster is going to be thrown in there those are the big name actors there but there's a lot of other people going to be popping up in this movie i looked through the imdb list and there's a lot of people i was like oh i recognize that guy oh i recognize that person oh, i recognize that person so it looks like we have a pretty good cast coming together as well um and the story is really supposed to center from what i could tell from the the trailer the first encounters between the orcs and the humans mm -hmm. which if you played the original warcraft games which is one of my favorite games of all time, uh, you know, from Warcraft 1, the orcs just kind of popped up. There's some sort of rift opened up in between dimensions. The orcs' world is dying, so they came over here to the humans' world, pretty much. And kind of, some of them wanted to conquer. Some of them wanted to just live and stay. Kind of like Vikings, almost. You could mm -hmm. you can compare the or orcs to Vikings. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Pillaging. Yeah. Staying. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. so, and Brendan's yeah, paying attention yeah. to something totally different. No, 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 I was listening to you, I was seeing where you are going to go with that, but honestly though, I was, when I was watching the, the trailer and thinking about the story, I I guess I didn't play the first one a whole lot, but I... I didn't play I, that one a whole lot either, but I, I, had, I remember most of the story from the second. Yeah, I had thought though that the orcs like show up and they they are a conquering force, and I thought they, they're supposed to kind of win the first game. If um, I remember correctly, a, that's... That's what well in terms of winning though they pretty much establish their own land in the human yeah. land um, and then, is, is how they yeah. win the first game and then the uh, second so game it's not they say that, that they destroy everybody yeah but in the second game they say that they 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 come back and they just want war it, it was it just seemed like they didn't have necessarily a purpose other than yeah let's go kill some humans because we like war yeah. Um, which in the second game they kind of do give you a little bit there's you definitely know there's a difference between brown orcs and green orcs and I, if i remember correctly in the second game you even had some missions where there was infighting behind be, between the broods yeah. of orcs and you, you, you saw some infighting between of, the humans too at, at certain well points, yeah but 
Yeah, yeah but uh, I mean, there's more infighting. That takes more of a center stage. You notice that there is a division between the orcs. And really, Warcraft 1, the orcs show up. They kind of win the day because they establish themselves here. And then in Warcraft 2, they kind of push them back towards the portal. And I don't know if they totally push the orcs out, but they, they do pretty good. In, and then, yeah, well, for the expansion beyond the dark portal, they have destroyed yeah. the... The humans destroy the portal, and then they go into the portal uh, yeah. for the expansion for Warcraft Probably two. not a good idea. Probably yeah. once you destroy the portal where all the, all your main enemies live, you should probably just leave it alone. Yeah. So I don't remember... Uh, so I don't know if this is completely following the lore or not, because I don't know, I guess, enough about the first one, but I didn't think that they were such a sympathetic... Um, group that is one. where i think i that is where i think they pull more from world of warcraft yeah um to tell that story because i know the, you'll, you'll hear about the fell orcs yeah. which are like a tainted version of the orcs and like so the green orcs are the bad orcs the brown orcs are the good orcs and you kind of see an infight between them some of them want to come here and just live and you know just you know okay our world is dying we should make peace with the humans and try to live in their land and some of them are like yeah let's just raid and pillage everything why not and that's kind of where the division is. And that's what it looks like you'll see in this movie, too, because there are certain moments like where there's one moment where the main orc and the main human kind of come together and they're like, OK, we're yeah. going to talk to each other. And you can tell there's some things going on. They've also kind of hinted there's a dark wizard in there somewhere. Um, they showed a very, very now I only know this because I watched one of the rewind theaters on it. But they showed a glimpse of some elves. Apparently they were sun elves, not the night elves or moon elves, not the night elves. One of the two. Um, and very, very short glimpse of the elves, but they were there. So it's going to be interesting to see how they intertwine all this. Now, it doesn't look like they're going to try to take the story, rip it right out of the video game and put it into the movie, which is a good sign. Um, there's plenty of lore. There's plenty, plenty of myth that they can rework and retool to make into a cohesive movie plot. Cause that's where a lot of these video game movies fall apart is when they try to go exactly by the source material. And it just, it, it's a video game. It's a different well, way of telling the story. Like, there's a lot that work. fall apart by going too far from the video game. Like Mario. Well, that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Mario Bros. Well, no, movie. no. Mario was just a bad movie. Come on. I know, and it, it, it has almost nothing to do with the original yeah, Mario. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it didn't matter. You know, so it, you see some good things, you see some bad things. Overall, I was incredibly impressed by this first trailer. If if it's anything like this trailer, we're going to get an epic movie that hopefully we'll see spin into a trilogy. I know I'm talking big right now. Who knows if it's any good yet, right? Mm. Um, but if it does come out, it is good. I could see this epic going, going, going. Yeah. Who knows, they might start bringing in, you know, one of the big parts of it was, I can't remember, like, Anudane or something like that was the the, the Dark Prince. He, he, you know, turns evil at one point in Warcraft 3. But, you know, this was one of the games that really defined my childhood, I would say. Warcraft 2 especially. That and, like, Daggerfall were two of the first forays into this video game world with all this mythos and everything like that and just... I absolutely loved them. So I can't wait to see people riding around on griffins, flying through, and uh, just these epic battles between orcs and humans. It just looks like a really, really good time. And a movie that we've been missing since Lord of the Rings, the original trilogy came out. We haven't seen a good epic fantasy movie like this. And yes, I'm including the the, the Hobbit trilogy. That was just not epic. That yeah. was, <clears throat> eh. you know, that was there. It was, you know, nothing much. So... This is really, I'm hoping, a return to form with some of these epic fantasy yeah. movies that we've been missing out on. And I would say that from what it looked like, this definitely looks like they're setting up for doing more movies in this line. Uh, like you're saying, for a trilogy, I, I think that they're definitely, if it if it does well, that's what they're playing for with starting from the beginning. And they all obviously have so much more story to go because it's, it's Warcraft. Yeah. They have so much. Um and honestly, with that too, I was, I was a little surprised. Like I, I previously, I would have said maybe they were just going to go for for one and see where it goes, but just have a standalone. Um, but I thought that they were going to incorporate into the games and like the game mythos a lot more than than it looks like they necessarily are here. Um, I thought it was going to. I think we we we've talked about it before. I thought they were just going to go and say. This is going to be an event. It's going to pick up wherever they are in Warcraft, mm -hmm. World of Warcraft they, right now. They could have done that too, yeah. And this is going to be the, the event that progresses the story. And then they were, would continue and release an expansion or something and uh, 
continue the story after that in World of Warcraft. Um, but no, but they're going back to the beginning, which I'm, yeah. I'm just a little surprised. And which by. which they could they could still do that. They could make this okay. This is how this world gets set up. This is how you see the orcs and the humans come together, um, at least and live in the same world. And then you could take it off and veer into different realms and tell different stories if you wanted to, I guess. But I, I just think this is a really epic way of setting everything up. Uh, I'm really excited for the movie. It comes out June 2016. I, I, I hope you are too. So hit us up. Let us know what you think. Were you impressed by the trailer? Did you not think it was as great as we did? Uh, hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Worst My Face on Twitter. Google Plus Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. 